Trajectory tracking of mobile robots is a well studied problem and many solutions have been proposed. But if the robot is carrying a liquid payload, then minimizing the motion of the free liquid surface becomes a problem of real practical importance. This motion is called sloshing and it is a complex nonlinear dynamical phenomenon which significantly impacts the stability of the liquid system. It affects various engineering systems and processes such as liquid storage tanks, liquid rocket fuel tanks, molten metal handling in steel industries, beverage industries, robotic handling of liquids, attitude and trajectory maneuver in spacecraft, etc. Since the actual slot dynamics is highly nonlinear and complex, traditional controllers are not much effective in dealing with the slot suppression problem. Our objective is to use the deep reinforcement learning framework to generate reference speed profile of the mobile robot so that slot is minimized as well as destination is reached in the minimum time while the bot follows a reference path. For this, we have built a lab scale mobile robot which is capable of carrying liquid payloads. The architecture of the robot is as follows. An Xbox controller is used to send high level commands to a teensy microcontroller which are used to change the mode of operation of the robot. For localization, we are using uh, two LiDAR sensors placed perpendicularly which provide the X and Y coordinate of the robot and an IMU sensor which provides the yaw reading of the robot. Uh, we are using a four wheel mechanum drive which is a holonomic drive that is it can move in any direction without changing its orientation. This property is really useful while minimizing two dimensional slosh. Initially we had some problem in PID tuning of the trajectory tracking and the bot swayed from its trajectory. This is very unacceptable because we have to run the bot for thousands of episodes in the same trajectory. With some time spent in PID tuning of the gains, we have achieved a good trajectory tracking performance now. For measuring slosh to be fed to the RL agent, we have settled on capacitive sensors after testing resistive sensors and time of flight sensors. Capacitive sensors give a continuous value of reading with very fine resolution. But initially what we found that there was drift value in the capacitance due to the external electromagnetic interference. What we did was we used aluminium foil to shield the capacitance which reduced the electromagnetic interference to zero and thus eliminated the value of drift. Right now we are running the robot with a set PWM but we need to shift to a reference velocity. For that we need to build a reliable velocity control loop. We are working on that. Once it is done, we will be ready to deploy the RL model which will give the reference velocities to minimize the slosh and the travel time for a given trajectory. This is a completely novel attempt and the entire team eagerly waits to see the outcome and it is almost a dream project for all of us. The results are sure to impact the industry as well as future research in robotics and slosh minimization and we are thankful to Student Innovation Grant Program of Art Park for providing us the opportunity to carry out this exciting work.